So um, obviously, first of all, kind of how have you been preparing the team? Obviously, we're getting really close now. Are there any final bits that you've been doing with them ahead of Friday? Uh, we've got a call. Uh, we've got a call tomorrow night, so this is our third call. So uh, kind of split them up into two groups. We've got a group looking at two different things, and we've got a group looking at two other things, and they're going to play that back to each other. But yeah, we've spent three weeks talking about um, how we're going to play, uh, what we think success looks like, all those, all the usual sort of stuff, and then. I've got a couple of nice surprises for them as well on Wednesday. A couple of messages from people that are involved in lacrosse that will hopefully uh, give us that maybe that couple extra couple of percent we'll need on Friday. Uh, for you as a coach, how different is preparing for this tournament than maybe others that you've been involved in? Uh, I think well, I think the main difference is I've not um, we've not managed to get together face to face. That's the biggest difference. So it's managing. Just trying to build a team and a culture without actually ever meeting anyone until until the Friday when we actually play. So, you know, two hours before we play, it's going to be, we've got to try and make sure we put into practice all the, th all the things we've talked about over the last three or four weeks. So it's going to be time, yeah, it's going to be t time sensitive, time pressured. Uh, be exciting though. Um, what is your sort of style? What can we expect from the team, obviously without giving up too much away, but what are we kind of going to expect to see from them? <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, the, t the teams I coach in this team in particular, uh, I I believe that it's about creativity and freedom. Uh, we won't. I think they need to feel they can take risks, make mistakes. Uh, I think that's what it's all about, especially because we've got most of the team have played a little bit, but they've never played together. So there are going to be there's going to be a lot of learning, especially on that Friday and Saturday. Uh, a lot of those players have not played together before. We've got to pick them up, dust them off, and get them back on the field again. Tell them not to worry about it. So it's going to be creative, it's going to be fun, and we've got a fantastic team spirit between us. It should be good. Uh, are there any sort of of the players in particular on your team that you're looking forward to working with? Are there any players or teams that you're really looking to go against? Uh, I'm I'm a believer in you've got to focus on the things that you can control. It sounds a bit cheesy, but it's uh, a bit of a cliche. Uh, I've got 12 players, all of which can do a job in all sorts of different areas. I'm super, super happy with my team. Really chuffed with the players that I've got. The ones I picked and the ones that I was that were given to me as well. Uh, no, I think we focus on ourselves because we don't. Uh, the other teams are in the same situation we are. They've got players that have never played together, so we might see them as an individual. Go, that player is good at this or not so good at that. But um, it's going to be on the Friday. It's going to be. It's going to be. Uh, I'm going to say carnage. It's probably a bit extreme, that, but it's going to be fun on Friday. What do you think that you will learn and hopefully take away from this experience? Uh, I think uh, when you talked about how we prepared for a competition, so I think there's that uh, how to... I'm learning already how to prepare for a competition when you really don't get a lot of time together, if, if any time together. Um, and the advantages of that, as well as the disadvantages of that as well. So you can you can capture people when... Uh, they, you know, you normally wouldn't get anywhere close to them unless you saw them at squad. And I think we need to need to embrace that sort of stuff. That's, that's, that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of what I learned going into the tournament. Um, out of it, it's just more about sixes. I mean, we've got a new cohort of players, so we had some extremely experienced players in the group last year, and we've now got kind of the next generation that are going to play this year. So I'm interested to see what different, what you know, what the differences are between those, especially when it comes to risk taking. I want to see if those youngsters are prepared to, you know, prepare to take a lot of risk because that's what I want them to do and enjoy it and have fun with it. That's good. And win, of course. Yeah, win. Win's the most important part. Uh, I think that's <laughs> all I've got, Jason. It's not. It's got... not. <laughs> Best part, though, if you do it. Yeah, well, we we've had it because I've been in, I've been with teams before where the winning is everything, and if you don't win, then it can affect the team not just after that game, it can affect them going to the next game. So. Again, a bit of a cliche, but we, we, we've had a long discussion about what we think success looks like, and that is as on an individual basis and also as a group. So I think we compete, we continue to compete, whether, whether it's the first minute or the last minute, then that would be successful. You've chosen uh, Ella Malik as your captain this year. Um, she did play 
uh, last year uh, when you were assistant coach. Um, I was just wondering um, why you've chosen Ella, why you thought she was a good pick for captain. Yeah, well, she's uh, probably the standout player in that Durham team. That, that kind of I know they got I know they lost it not here. I won't mention that too many times, but uh, she's yeah she she played really well last year. My favourite goal of the whole tournament. I mean, I'm going to be biased. It's a rise. It was a rise goal, but it was the goal when uh, I think it was Sophie Coons Roberts dropped the ball or she was fouled on the halfway line. Went back over, dropped it. Ella ran on. blue head uh, meaning the All Blacks talk about a blue head meaning that you're kind of cool calm and collected regardless of what everyone else is you know what, regardless of what else is happening on, happening around you and she for me epitomises that she's emotionally unbelievably steady regardless of what the situation is and that's why I've picked her so if we're losing we're winning if we're not competing or if we're competing she'll still she'll still stay in the fight still stay in the game and of course she's a fantastic lacrosse player as well um, and we actually spoke to Ella the other day and uh, she said she was a little bit shocked at, um, at being asked to be captain because she's one of the younger players in the squad. Um, I don't know what, you know, what are your thoughts about, you know, her being quite young and also being the captain? Yeah, well, she, she might be young, but she's been involved in the England set up. I wouldn't say she's the most vocal, but she leads by example. So she's, uh, she works as hard, if not harder than everyone else. Uh, I say a lacrosse brain is, I think, ahead of her years. Uh, she keeps a rich, keeps really cool, calm and collected. The other thing is, I wanted to show to the other youngsters in that group, in my group in particular, that, you know, age doesn't really matter. I guess my final question will be, um, it's about you. Well, yeah, like we said, you were assistant coach last year um, of Rise. I wanted to ask yeah. you about what the transition had been like for you going from assistant coach to a head coach, whether there was anything that you learned at last year's competition uh, that you've brought into this competition. Just what's that transition been like for you? Yeah, um, I think last year having Katie as a head coach was really good for me because she's got so much experience. She's, I mean, she commands respect. She's, you know, everyone knows and everyone respects her way of playing and her way of way of coaching players. So it was an easy really for me to be assistant coach to Katie. Um, but we both learned quite a lot. So I think I've gained confidence from last year's tournament because some of the things I was we talked about implementing didn't happen necessarily. We kind of left them on the shelf, and, and I think uh, we both decided after some of the things I talked about we could have used, and that might have affected the way we played. So I'm a bit more confident. I mean, I. I'm a head coach of a, a number of teams outside of this format, but um, yeah, I think it's. I think last year just gave me. We talked about some of the the plays we might use, and because um, because we tried some of those last year and they didn't necessarily work, we got rid of them. So I've kind of fast tracked or shortcutted the process. So when we've been on our first call, people have, have thrown stuff up and we've discussed it and. Myself and the players that played last year have been able to kind of rule things out, rule things, rule things in or out pretty quickly based on what we've, we already know and what experience we've got. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah, I think it's just a lot of what Kate, Katie talked about. Some of the um, some of the kind of techniques for team building and team management and coaching I've used in other forms of the sport as well. All brought all those together, and hopefully it'll all work out over the weekend. Fingers crossed. <laughs>